Hi, Simira. This is given from Techno Drive. Uh, thank you for sending this battery for repairs. We are now done with the repairs. Um, I'm going to test the battery so that you can see that it's functioning uh, all right. Okay. So I'm going to show you our setup uh, before we test the battery. Okay, there is your battery. You can see that's a Dynas battery, 74 amp hour, 48 volts. Okay. All right. Let me show you our setup. We've got the two terminals. Uh, that runs to the inverter there. We've got a 5 kilowatt inverter. You can see this cable. Okay, you can follow this cable. It's running straight to your battery there. Okay, and the negative lead, it's running straight to the battery as well. So we've got the two terminals that are connected to the battery. So we also have got the ESCOM line. So this ESCOM line, we use it to test if the battery accepts charge. Because on lithium battery, there's two things that we check, is the charging and the discharging. So when you're discharging, it's when you are drawing power from the battery. Like when you are running all your appliances without uh, electricity. So you are drawing power from the battery. That's discharg discharging. Then charging, we are using ESCOM line. Uh, you can see the, the cable runs there to the inverter there. So this cable, we are not going to connect it before we test the battery. We are going to run the inverter with the battery only to test that the battery is allowing this charge. So on the, on the, on the, on the discharge, we are going to use the, the kettle there to test the, the load. So although we don't recommend that you use kettles on the lithium batteries uh, as the, it will limit the lifespan, but to, when we are testing, it's fine. We can run them uh, since we're not going to run for a very long time. We are going to run just for a few minutes, uh, but the current that we are going to draw, it's almost like 60 amp. So with 60 amp, if you connect all your appliances, 60 amp is very, very uh, high. You won't even reach 60 amp. So we're going to test with 60 amp, uh, which is around 2.7 kilowatt. So you can see now that the inverter is off uh, because the battery is off. Okay, let's switch on the battery. Okay, we've got the battery on. Okay, you can see the lights are steady there. You've got the SOC. With it, which is the state of charge it's on a full bar so the battery it's almost full then you see this light it's flashing now it's showing you that the battery is now on idle it's actually not charging or discharging it's on idle it's waiting for you to either discharge or charge the battery so now when as, as soon as i turn on the inverter you will see this light it will stop flashing to show you that the battery is now in use. Okay, let's switch on the inverter. Okay, we've got the inverter now on. All right, let's go back to the light there. You can see now it's getting steady. There is steady. It's no longer flashing. It's no longer flashing because we are drawing power from the battery. So the first step, we, we tested it. All right. All right, let's go to the inverter. You can see the inverter now is pushing 230 volts. Let's go to the voltage of the battery. Okay. We've got 49.6 volts on the battery. Okay. So now I'm going to switch on the, the kettle, which is our load. All right, the kettle is on. Let's see how much we're drawing. Okay, we are pulling 2.6 kilowatt. You can see there we, we've got 58 amps coming out from the from your battery. You can see BATT there is showing you that the the power is coming from the battery. Okay. You can see the battery, there's no any alarm. The kettle is already boiled. That's that was quick. Eh? 
that was very quick because 50 amp is very very high you can see it's already boiling just few seconds okay you can see now the battery is still 49 volts so the battery is very very healthy it didn't drop the voltage okay so i've tested the the discharge now we are going to test the charge okay let's go back to the battery okay when the battery is charging you will see the soc will start flashing to show you that now we are receiving power from the the inverter so we are now on a charge state okay i'm gonna connect the escom line okay let's connect the escom line all right let's go back to the inverter first okay you can see ac is zero there all right let's switch on the escom line okay we've got 230 there very soon we'll start charging okay let's look for this light When it starts flashing, it means that we are charging. Okay, there we're charging now. All right, let's look at the battery. You can see now the SOC is flashing. Okay, so both the SOC and the RAN, they are flashing. This tells you that the battery is charging. Okay. All right, let's see how much current we're charging. Okay, we're charging with 12 amps. Okay, let's push it a little bit higher. Okay, I've just changed the settings on the inverter. It was on 10 amps. Now we are charging with 33 amps. So that power is going to your battery. Okay. You can see the SOC is flashing. So the battery is okay, it's 100%. So this is how we test your, your battery. 100% is charging and is discharging. Those are the two most important things. So I hope you will, you will come collect it as soon as possible. Thank you.